No, I'm not gay. Okay? No. I'm not gay. We keep getting complaints of noise and underage drinking. Everybody sit down. We're going to be here for a while. You don't have anything sharp on you that I can stick myself with, do you? No. Good. Because I do. So, Magic Mike. Not in a million years did I think I was going to go and attend a screening uh, about male strippers. I love women. I'm not gay. I love women. I love the poon, okay? This is not targeting men. <laughs> this is for the ladies. Ladies will go crazy for this film. Okay? So I knew what I was getting myself into. I knew the film was loosely based on Channing Tatum's uh, male stripper life that he did for quite some time until he became uh, an actor. And the film basically takes on Mike, an experienced stripper that takes a younger performer called the kid under his wing and schools him in the art of partying, picking up women, and making easy money. Simple as that, to the point, simple, yeah. But besides that, the, the film has a lot of sex packs, dancing, humping women's faces, dicks, oh god. But forgetting that, I can't believe I'm going to say this, as a comedy slash drama, the film was pretty damn good. I mean, I had a pretty, I'm not gay, okay? I had fun. <laughs> I had fun watching the film. Uh, it was fun. It was funny. So first off, let me go into the performances of the film. The main star, Channing Tatum, who plays Magic Mike. I, I will say this. Channing Tatum should stick to comedy. The comedy really goes well with him. I mean, he delivers lines after lines. And the comedy just flows so well with him. And I will say this, ladies, ladies, 20% uh, of you watching right now, you guys will go crazy after he dances uh, for maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes. Then we go into the supporting cast. Alex Petterfeer, who was in I Am Number 4, Beastly. He does well in this film. He gives such a dramatic uh, performance. The comedy doesn't really flow with him. I felt that was kind of the downside for his character. But the drama side of the film, he really shines and actually delivers uh, a pretty good performance. But the man who stole the show, he shined every time that he was on screen. He goes in and out. He hardly had any screen time but every time that he was on screen the man shined and that was Matthew McConaughey he plays Dallas uh, this smart ass boss he's the main leader uh, out of this group and every time that he's on screen powerhouse performance his comedic timing just goes so well with him it, it, he really just surprised me I mean I really liked his character so, like I said, the comedy just flows so well with the film. I really don't know how to explain it. Just know the film will have you laughing. There are some awkward moments, but you just can't help it but laugh. But you also gotta thank Mr. Sodenberg for capturing these performances and taking the best out of them and just making a pretty good comedy out of this film. But Mr. Sodenberg did something right. Saying this, will make me sound a bit gay, but there is really no other way I could say it. But the performances, the actual dancing in the film, it's some of the best that I've seen ever. It was fucking incredible. I said it there, and I'm not gay, but I said it. It, it was fucking incredible. I mean, holy shit. Yes, the film takes a darker turn, which I liked, 
It fit in well with the theme. It was set up well. What didn't work for me was the drama. Yes, at times it did work quite well, but towards the end, it just sort of goes downhill from there. I mean, uh, melodramatic, uh, the bromance breaking apart, and, and relationship breaking apart. It was melodramatic as hell, and I'm not a big fan of that. And then we go into the ending, and when you see the film, it sort of just happens. So, overall, Magic Mike was a good comedy. It was dramatic at times, a bit melodramatic, good performances, pretty incredible dancing, good direction by Mr. Sodenberg. It was a good film, 4 out of 5 stars. I'm a man, I love the poon. And I saw Magic Mike film about male strippers and I'm still straight okay so man if you want to take your ladies go ahead uh, just know they will want nothing with you after this film